Then one of my other patients called that same afternoon to tell me about it. I just started the vlog a week ago. I know, and you are already the latest must-see internet craze. <gasps> Former oh. patients now consider themselves your biggest fans. You know that, right? Stop it. Yeah. I'm not a fan. <laughs> you totally know. <laughs> Mrs. Solomon told me that it's like you're reading her mind, <gasps> speaking for all pregnant women when they talk about uh, the miseries oh. of carrying a child. Okay, oh, wait. No. The miseries? Now, I know you had a little problem with the morning sickness, but I didn't think you hated being pregnant this much. I don't. That wasn't what I was saying at all. When I first found out I was pregnant, I had no idea what to expect. I just knew that all of a sudden my body wasn't mine anymore. There's this little being inside dictating everything that I did, what to eat, when to pee. And I started this vlog as a way to reach out to other mothers, you know, to share my own experiences, but also get some advice on how to deal with my pregnancy. All of my patients who have watched love that Robin just tells it like it is. You know, mm. all the all the little frustrations and the big ones, including you. Well, your patients must be browsing another blog or misunderstanding mine. Because so far, my experience has been awe-inspiring and, and, and positive for the most part. And if I've mentioned you at all, it was just in passing, as in my baby's father, yada, yada, yada. Dr. Scorpio, the lab has some questions about blood work you ordered. What? What's Robin saying about me? <laughs> oh, no, no. Trust me, you don't want to know. Robin is saying stuff about me on the internet I have a right to know, so just... What's the link? No, this is a really bad idea. Dr. Lee, just... Put the blog up. I want to see for myself. Fine. But don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. Hi. Uh, me, Robin. Welcome back. For those of you who are stumbling across my vlog for the first time, allow me to explain. I am currently in my second trimester. <laughs> And I'm on the verge of a nervous breakdown. I mean, don't get me wrong, I knew that pregnancy was going to be very difficult, but besides my swollen ankles and my aching back and, oh, let's not forget the morning sickness, what's more difficult is dealing with the father of my child, right? I mean, while some men embrace fatherhood and, and they build cribs and paint the nursery, the father of my child is so worried that being a daddy is going to put a cramp into his style, so he reverts back to adolescence periodically, as if somehow acting like a teenager is going to change the fact that there is a baby coming. King, what are you doing? No, you'll thank me later. It only gets worse. Based off the Scorpio stat. What's the emergency? You. You are the emergency trashing me on the internet. What are you talking Robin, about? Robin, I saw the blog. You're using this to paint me as an uncaring, selfish jerk. Now every pregnant woman in the world is going to be hunting me down with knives and pitchforks. Do you think you're overreacting just a little bit? Okay. Okay, we'll see how you react when it happens to you. So... So I'm finding it very difficult to focus on this miracle of life growing inside of me because the person who is responsible for helping me to create said miracle, also I guess the baby's father, even though he has no interest in doing any actual parenting, is being downright unreasonable and suffocating. I mean, I thought the whole purpose of being a single mother was so that I didn't have to raise this child with anyone else and without any interference. But you keep interfering! Go away! Are you sure about this? Robin's not the only one that has something to say. If that's steady, I'm gonna do the rest. Okay, sure for you? Okay. Alright. Action. Whenever you go, just, just do it. I'm going to be a father. Those are 
words I never thought I would say. See, I had a plan for my life, and then being a dad wasn't part of it. Then one night, a broken condom, and voila, I've got a kid on the way. And then that's why I'm going to start this blog, to uh, reach out and build a community with all you other soon-to-be fathers who aren't sure you're ready to be fathers, but are trying to trying to step up and take responsibility to, to be supportive and reasonable, you know, to try and do the right thing. But that doesn't matter, as you probably already know. See, we're damned either way. Because a woman carrying our baby, who was more than a little willful and controlling to start with, has now gone into hormonal overdrive and is losing her damn mind.